Hey guys, it's Renee from Kids Simple Stuff and today I wanted to share this cute bandana idea with you. I just love to see my puppy with this kind of things and I tried out I tried myself to make one and I'm glad I did because I love the way this one looks. So to start with I just used a piece of old denim piece of fabric and I went ahead and flipped it upside down and then I went ahead and used another piece of bandana that I had just so it could be like kind of a pattern to me so I could just you know uh, cut a straight lines and, and everything and then after I just went ahead with my uh, pattern scissors I used zigzag scissors just to add some sort of detail to the bandana because I major my 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 bandana to my dog and it was kind of too small he needed more space for breathing and stuff added a piece of fabric to it I grabbed another piece of um, old old bandana that I had and I chose this one because it has a cowboyish pattern to it that went really well with my denim pattern so I just uh, cut it a bunch of stripes I, I took this weird tool. I originally was looking for a hole puncher, but I didn't find anything. If you had that, go ahead and use it, but I didn't find anything. But anything that is metal and it has a pointy end to it. I wouldn't use a toothpick because I'm pretty sure toothpicks will break. But you can always go ahead and experiment that. I didn't do it. That's because I found this one first, I guess. But anyways, I just went ahead and punched two, two of the extremes or the sizes of my bandana. And I went ahead and put it those those straps through the holes of my denim bandana, so it would act sort of a necklace for my doggy, so I don't, wouldn't have to move it, arrange it every time, and stuff like that. And since I didn't want my my bandana to be moving at all, I made two knots at the end of each piece of stripe of my new fabric and then because I felt it needed something else I just wanted to add a small tiny detail even if it, it wasn't uh, functional I wanted to add a pocket to my to my bandana so I went ahead and cut it a piece of fabric the same fabric that I used the denim fabric but this time I went and flipped it so the lighter fabric would be on the top and the darker would be on the bottom so it would be like a visible pocket instead of just having the same color denim all over the place if that makes any sense I just went ahead then with my red thread and I started sewing and I'm pretty sure what I'm doing has a technical term to it but I don't really know I just this is just a couple of X's on one on top of the other and I just went ahead and um, did that all over the, the the pocket so it would be secured once I finished I thought of adding some extra coloring to it and I just chose threads of the color yellow green blue and the one that I was using already red so I went ahead and uh, saw a couple of super huge X's one of each color and once I got to the red one, I realized I had to use the same colors because I still had some space. So I did that. And if you notice, my pocket doesn't really open because my puppy doesn't really need to put anything inside of his pocket. But if you want to make it functional, you can always do this part before you, you add your pocket to your bandana. And that is pretty much it. It was super easy. It's easier than I thought. And it's super cool. And he looks super cute. If you liked this idea or you liked this, you found this video, you know, entertaining, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments on this video or questions or anything like that. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more DIY fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care.